guys, welcome to this Friday edition of the show where I report on the latest in gaming news. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please remember to smack the like button as always. Now, just before we do get into the gaming news, today's sponsor is FIFAUTstore.com. Make sure you use the code CHAMP at the checkout. You save yourself 5% off on all Ultimate Team coins. So yeah, check out FIFAUTstore.com. It is down below. But now, let's get into our gaming news. And well, all our three news reports today are big news. So let's get into it. Big news! Alright, so we have three news reports to get to today. And now, let's get into the first one. And as you guys know, PlayStation Now is a service that's going to be coming out for the PlayStation 4 and a lot of other Sony platforms. Basically, you'll be able to stream games online. That'll range from PS1, PS2, PS3, maybe even PS4 title. Now, the interesting thing here is that a beta is currently available and version 2.0 for that beta has been leaked. A list of games and some screenshots have come out. Now, I can't show you the screenshots, but I will link everything down below. However, what I can state is all these games that you see on screen are in that version 2.0 of the beta. Personally, I think this is a pretty cool list because it's not a bunch of games like that are shooters, you know, big AAA titles. It's a bunch of different games. And you can see games when they like Wipeout HD, which was amazing. Then you've also got Dead Island, which is pretty damn fun when you're with a bunch of friends. And you also got Payday on there. On top of that, you got random games like Puzzle Quest and just things like that, which is awesome. Now, according to the report, the update is only 42 megabytes in size, so that's not that bad. Now, the thing is, obviously, this is PlayStation Now, so it's a streaming service, so way to get these games, these classic games on your PS4 or whatever. You'll need a pretty good internet connection. Now, if you do want to read more about this, as I said, I have linked it all down below, but I'm just excited that the backwards compatibility feature is sort of coming to the PS4 with this PlayStation Now beta. Anyway, to our next news report of the day, and it's another big one, it's about Titanfall. Respawn has released a major Titanfall update for Xbox One and PC. This patch introduces support for private matches, other new features, and bug fixes. The biggest part of this is obviously the private matches, which is just awesome. The thing is though, it's in beta, so it's not the final version of it. If you do want to read more about this, I have linked it down below because there is quite a lot of stuff they're updating in this game. I know not everyone here plays Titanfall, so it's not that interesting to everyone, so I won't mention every single little bit. Anyway, to our next news report of the day, and it's our final one of the day, and it's another game that a lot of people play, but a lot of people also don't play, and it's Call of Duty Ghosts. As you guys know, the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One usually get the DLC first, and that's the same thing with the Devastation DLC, because it's already out on the Xbox One and Xbox 360, but now it's been announced that the PC and Sony platforms being the PlayStation PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 3 will get it on May 8th. So yeah, if you're a Call of Duty Ghost fan and you're looking forward to this Devastation DLC where you can play as the Predator, you'll be able to play this on May 8th, which is pretty damn awesome. Anyway, that is it for today's gaming news. Sorry it was kind of short, it was kind of a slow news day, but anyway, let's get to the Grill Man question. Thanks Grill Man, okay guys, the question is, if you could add a really random DLC to a game, what would it end up being and why? So put your answer down below in the comment section, you can on the next show, if you today's video, make sure you smack the like button, because I'm Chan Trong Max Australia here.